Hi everyone and welcome to my Alice little makeup tutorial from Alice Madness Returns. So I'm starting off by adjusting my wig and putting it on. I already have my lens on. They are the Sweetie Hydrocore Emerald from Unique So and I will have the link to all the products used including the lens in the description box below. Now I just decided to pick my hair up and then it proves useless in the end because the ponytail falls off. So now I'm gluing down my eyebrows. This part is completely optional. I like to cover my brows and draw thinner, more arched brows for Alice since my brows are so thick and bushy, but I'm basically just swiping the glue in the direction of brow hair growth. Now I'm grabbing the back of my tweezers and scraping glue off and just slapping it right onto my eyebrow. This really helps to make sure that all of the spots are covered and also helps to eliminate some of the texture from the hair. So now I'm using my MAC Studio Fix powder to powder on my brows. This is a powder foundation and it is a holy grail for eyebrow coverage. And excuse the lighting, Florida Sun was not having it when I filmed this. And neither was my camera apparently. As you can see I now get very frustrated trying to fix the lighting. <laughs> So now I'm using my Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation Stick in the color 118. This color has a bit of a salmony undertone which is perfect to kind of color correct the black of my eyebrows. So I'm just swiping it on with a concealer brush and then I take my Beauty Blender and buff it in to blend it in well. I would recommend a foundation stick over concealer when covering your brows simply because it is more creamy and full coverage and will act as a better base and also much easier to powder and set than concealer is and you know that you will get the full coverage you're looking for. So for some reason my camera cut off here but I'm just applying foundation on my face now and I'm using the Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation to do so. And this foundation is amazing. It is waterproof and it stays on perfectly. It's the best for conventions. Typically when I'm doing Alice, this is the part where I look at myself in the mirror and think, wow, I look like Voldemort. I have no brows. I'm literally just a pale white face. But that's the beauty of transformation. The more disastrous you look in the beginning, the better you're going to look in the end. And now with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, aka the most basic concealer on the market, I'm just covering my under eyes to get rid of dark circles because college students obviously don't get any sleep. And now I'm dipping back into the Holy Grail Powder MAC Studio Fix and I'm just powdering my brows one more time to set it all together and then I'm using a fluffy brush to set the rest of my face. Now's the time when you finally get to have eyebrows again. So I'm just using the Naked 3 palette and I'm using the color Black Heart to go ahead and draw on my eyebrows. I'm using the high points of my brow bone for reference as to where my arch should be. And don't beat yourself up over it if you don't get both sides identical. Eyebrows are not supposed to be twins. There's days where my eyebrows don't even feel like cousins. Just take your time, be very patient, and don't worry if you mess up. If you mess up, just slap back into the concealer or foundation stick and cover up what you did and just keep going and try again and just do the best that you can. Now I'm just taking a liquid eyeliner pen and I'm just going over the eyebrows that I drew on to darken them up. And with this part I would recommend being a little more careful simply because liquid eyeliner is a little harder to take off than eyeshadow. Ladies and gentlemen, my camera stopped recording once again, but I'm basically just taking the concealer once again and applying it to my eyelid to act as a base for my eyeshadow. And the Florida sun is once again ruining my lighting, followed by the face of absolute disappointment the moment I realized this. Now I'm just dipping into my Modern Renaissance palette and I'm taking the color Red Ochre first. I'm buffing that into the crease to act as a transition color. So now I'm taking Venetian Red, which is basically a darker red, and buffing that into the crease to darken it up. And I'm taking a white eyeshadow, this is Tempera in the Modern Renaissance palette, and applying that to my eyelid. 
And then I just dip back into the Venetian red and apply that to the outer V of my eye. Now I'm applying the same Venetian red to my lash line and I'm being very generous with it because in the animation it is very obvious that there is red under Alice's eyes. So now with my Kat Von D Saint Center palette, I'm taking the color Sabbath, which is a black eyeshadow, and I'm just applying a little bit of it to the outer corner to smoke out the eyeshadow and give it a little more depth. And now it's time for eyeliner. So I don't like to wing my eyes for Alice simply because her eyes are very round and doll-like. So what I do is I tightline my lash line and then I thicken it up a little in the middle to give a bit of a rounded effect. And then towards the very end of the corner of my eye, I just kind of square it off to complete the eye shape. Using a black eyeliner pencil, I am lining my waterline to give my lashes a more dramatic volume effect. And then I'm dipping into my Hypnose Drama Mascara and I'm just generously applying that to my lashes. Alice has pretty big lashes since her eyes are doll-like, so you can opt out for false lashes if you want to. My eyelashes are already normally pretty long and thick, so I decided not to wear false lashes for her, but it's all up to you. And now using my shade light contour palette, I'm taking the lightest brown and applying it a little higher than my natural cheekbones because let's face it, 10 years in Rutledge Asylum will definitely not give Alice chubby cheeks. And now comes the intricate nose contour. So I'm going to the bridge of my nose and I'm starting there, just lining down to make it look thinner. And then I am lining in my nostrils as well because my nostrils are very small and I definitely want to bring them out for this contour. I also do a bit of a circle at the tip of my nose to give a button effect. And I add a little bit of the brown on the very bottom of my nose just to make it look like it's angled upwards. To top it all off, I just took my fluffy brush, dipped into some powder foundation, and blended out the harsh lines to soften the whole look. Taking the highlight color from the same palette, I'm just applying that to the high points of my nose to complete the illusion of the contour. For a little extra shimmer, I'm dipping into my Aurora Glow Kit, and I'm taking the color Lyra, which is a white highlighter, onto my cheekbones and nose. And finally, to complete the whole look, I am taking my Sephora lip tint in the color Red Essence to color my lips in with a very natural rouge. And that concludes the tutorial. Be sure to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed it, and also subscribe for more content. And I will catch you all in Wonderland, because...